So the first thing you want to do is go to Google or go to another search engine of your choice and type in free events New York City 2017. You'll see all these free events you can attend to. We'll start out with this one. This is a great one. This is timeout.com. It's timeout.com forward slash New York forward slash events and calendar. Now there are going to be some pop-up ads. Uh, yeah, they're kind of a pain. Let's see. I'm trying to get around them. Let's go to the next one. Let's hit the pop-up ad. Let's get out of this. So get rid of this. So we're going to X this out. We're going to scroll down here. And you'll see New York City events calendar for 2017. Again, we're at timeout.com. And there are a lot of events, a veritable plethora of events. Donuts, rooftop cinema, fleet week, things to do in New York City, the best things to do this week. So make Time Out your friend. There are a lot of cool events in Time Out. You want to bookmark Time Out, just go to bookmark, go to add bookmark. The second thing to do to find free events in New York City is type in New York City Parks. See this New York City Department of Parks and Recreation? It's NewYorkCityGovParks.org. You want to click on this link. And this is definitely a page you want to bookmark. So we're going to go add to bookmark, add to our favorites. There is a lot of stuff to do. Like outdoor fitness, canoe and kayak in the park, free summer movies. Go to this category today. Look at all the things to do. This is today. This is Tuesday, May 30th. Look. Gallery exhibition, tour of Gracie Mansion, bookworms, kids la petite art, blah, 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 and on and on. So we're going to go back. And this is this weekend. Look. Head to the beach, barbecue outdoors in the park. Explore New York City's wild side with our wildlife map. Join free canoeing at Oakland Lake. That sounds awesome. Try your obstacle course for free. Learn to ride a bike. Go rowing on the Bronx River. Uh, this has a free community rowing aboard a student-built wooden rowboats. This looks awesome. Okay, so this event has already taken place, but you get the idea. There's still a ton of events, and this is upcoming events, so you want to click on that. What's happening by date, news, things to do. This is really fun, Adventures New York City. I went to this uh, a few years ago with my friend Yindra. We had an awesome time. There's rock climbing, zip lining, it's all free. There's even like free snacks from those like uh, healthy uh, granola bar companies. Yeah, I'd like to eat um, a granola bar. It tastes like bird seed. I'll cut out the middleman, I'll just drop it straight in the toilet. As, uh, what's that comedian say? As, um, what's that guy's name? He always talks about bacon bits. Yeah, just chop it right in the toilet. Anyway, I forgot his name, but he has a TV show now. Okay, so we're going to back up out of this. So again, the first thing you want to do, let's go over this again. It's free events, New York City, 2017. Really simple. And blah, blah, blah. You get a timeout, right? The second thing is New York City Parks. Very simple, right? And then you go to this, New York City Parks. A little overview. Third thing is uh, dance parties, events, New York City. Eventbrite. Eventbrite is your friend. So we're going to go to eventbrite.com. Look at all these dance parties. Dance party, dance party, dance party. Lots of these are free. You want to sign up, you want to log into Eventbrite and join all these dance parties. Eventbrite is pretty fantastic because you can go to the categories page, look music, arts, food, drinks, sports, fitness, health, holiday. You can find a lot of events in New York City that are fun and that are absolutely free. Now we're going to type in uh, free museums or 
pay what you wish New York City. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but most New York, New York City museums are pay what you wish, meaning they'll say it's $20, but it's really a $20 suggested donation. You can pay a penny if you want. Um, so type in pay what you wish, New York City museums, get that list of museums, and literally go in there and just pay a dollar, a couple dollars, whatever you feel is, uh, is the value that you receive from the museums. You can pay $20 if you want. So we're going to scroll down here, look, New free museum days or pay what you wish, New York City Arts. So you go to this website, bookmark it, add to bookmark. Look at all these museums, we're going to scroll down, look at all this, pay what you wish, pay what you wish. Pay what you wish, pay what you wish, pay what you wish. All the museum hours, blah, 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 blah. Uh, blah, blah, blah. It's a lot. This is a really cool museum a lot of people don't know about. It's in Inwood. It's called the Cloisters. It's a really, really great place. It's on the Hudson River. Really nice. Going to back up. More 33 museums in New York City that are free or pay what you wish. So this is from a blog, Mom in the City. This is a nice blog, and look at it. Pay what you wish, pay what you wish, pay what you wish. I'm going to back up out of this. Uh, another way to find some uh, really cool events in New York City is go to Club Free Time. So this site, Club Free Time. This is a website it costs money to join. It's forty dollars a year and in my opinion it's worth it because you join it and you'll see all this stuff to do. Look at all these things to do. This is for today. This is a Tuesday, May 30th, 2017. Look at all the things to do. Some of these events are sold out. But look, this event is normally fifty dollars and when you join the site, uh, it's $40 a year. This event, each ticket will only be a $4.50 hand handling fee. So, say you wanted tickets for you and your friend or you and your partner. Two tickets for this that would normally be $100 would be $4.50 each. That would be $9. So you would save $41 on your first event. And $40 is what you're paying for a year, and this is just one event. I highly recommend this site. It's called Club Free Time. Uh, an actor friend of mine, actress friend of mine, she told me about it. And I've been a member for a few years, and it's just been fantastic. Uh, one of the first events I went to with my friend Marion, we went to an event called Fuerza Bruta. Um, it was an, it's an amazing interactive uh, theater, dance, performance, musical event. It lasts about an hour and a half and the tickets were eighty dollars a piece now through club free time I paid four dollars and fifty cents a ticket just for the handling fee and that's through PayPal so if I would have paid the regular price for the tickets I would have paid hundred and sixty dollars but because I went through club free time I paid nine dollars so on my first use for club free time I saved $151. So I highly recommend this site. It's fantastic. Again, it's $40 a year, but it is very much worth it. Uh, I'm, I'm logged into it. You can see all the free events. There's a ton. Let's look just for kicks on, uh, let's see, on the weekend. Let's go. Watch this. Let's see what's going on Friday. Look at all these events. A lot of events, all these day tours, which you can tip if you want, you don't have to. Juggling in the park. That's a free event, you don't need to be along to club free time, but it just reminds you of all these free things that are happening. Cinema, Harlem tour, Bushwick graffiti and street art tour, which I could give you because that's about a 10 minute walk from where I'm currently recording this video. Picnic in the park, and on, and on and on, and on, and on. French cinema, this looks actually pretty fun. 
Um, so we're going to back out of this. We're going to go back to Google. Another great place to find free events is, of course, New York City Park. So we're going to go in New York City Park, Bryant Park. So go to the Bryant Park main website. Oh, this is still recording. And look at all the stuff to do, things to do. Tai Chi, yoga, juggling, games, whatever this is. Southwest Porch, juggling, composer, opera, juggling, Tuesday night trivia, boot camp, poetry, juggling. Things to do, a lot of stuff to do. Over a thousand free activities, classes, and more. Every day, find things to do. So we're going to look amazing. So we're going to bookmark this site. Add the bookmark. We'll go back to the Google. The Google. And let's type in Prospect Park. So let's go to Prospect Park. Oops. Uh, apparently this guy was a homeless guy. They think he was homeless and they found uh, his body in the, I guess in the middle of a forest in Prospect Park. Uh, they're still investigating. That was two days ago. Um, bookmark this. I'm going to add a bookmark. So Prospect Park, things to do. So you want to sign up here, get the email list, but look at all this stuff. Barbecues and picnics, bicycling, bird watching, boating, with dogs, fishing, football, nature programs, kids, blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, if you could just, um, if you could just uh, pull up with your inflatable raft and uh, put on that really cool Daft Punk song. Yeah, that would just be uh, great. So here we have Prospect Park Alliance, boating. There's a ton of stuff to do. So again, with the parks, you could, there's tons of parks in New York City and all the boroughs, Brooklyn, Queens, Staten Island, uh, Coney Island, and Manhattan, of course. But um, the, the big parks are Central Park, uh, Prospect Park, and Bryant Park. Prospect Park being in Brooklyn, and Central Park and Bryant Park, of course, being in Manhattan. So that's just a few things, ways you can find parties. There's even more. Let's say, I like electronic music. So electronic, dance, music, party, events, New York City. That's a, a lot of terms, long tail keyword search. So here we have Eventbrite. Go to Eventbrite. Join Eventbrite. Download Eventbrite on your phone. Some of these are going to be pricey, some of these are going to be free. This one's free. Especially if you can get into these parties early. July, August. Here's one at Barclays Center, uh, Swedish Takeover. This sounds really fun. Oh, the sales are ended, it's free. But it looks like it's uh, sales ended. Oh, this would have been fun. Ah, that guy. Oh, wow. Maybe I got tickets for that. I might have gotten tickets a while back ago. Turn the back out of that. So there, here's another list. Thrillist. Uh, this is a website worth bookmarking. It's similar to Time, time Out, but not as big as Time Out. Blew, more ads. So we're going to X this out. Parties, parties, parties. EDM calendar. Where is resident advisor? I'm looking for resident advisor. Okay. I was hoping to find it this way. So, resident advisor NYC. So, here we go. Residentadvisor.net. If you like dance parties, you want to bookmark this site. They have a lot of electronic dance parties. So, bookmark it. Add to bookmark. Favorite this. You see all these different dance parties you can go to. Let's back this up. Type in free movies, outdoor screenings, New York City, 2017. So, free summer movies, New York City parks. This is another website. Oh, we've already bookmarked this. I'll bookmark it again just for this specific page. And here's a bunch of uh, movies that are happening. 
The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Actually, I was in the trailer for this. I'm like at 30 seconds to... Somewhere between 30 seconds and 45 seconds in. I'm the second camera guy putting down this camera and gazing up at what's supposed to be Times Square, although it was filmed in uh, Long Island, New York, at an outdoor... kind of uh, outside of a studio, and they had a set that looked just like Times Square. It was amazing. So here's a bunch of movies that are showing. I haven't seen this one. This one would be fun to see. Look at all these movies. So, free movies, New York City. And look at this. More movie screenings, New York City. Bookmark this as well. Now one other thing to keep in mind is once you once you bookmark something um, on your on your computer or your phone or laptop or whatnot, um, I would recommend you go to Facebook and you search for uh, that website on Facebook. So search for Prospect Park, New York City. Search for Central Park, New York City. Search for Bryant Park, New York City on Facebook and like those pages and also follow those pages. That way you're likely to be informed about all those events that are happening. Uh, those websites for Central Park, Prospect Park, and Bryant Park also have sign-ins. I would say sign in, join their email list, and you'll be sent emails on a weekly basis uh, that let you know of upcoming events. Um, Eventbrite, eventbrite.com is a great site to join. Uh, there's tons of events in different categories, especially in New York City. Uh, last week there was literally three events on a Friday night. I only had time to attend uh, two of them. One was in uh, Williamsburg and the other one was in Greenpoint. But there's events all over the place almost every single night. Uh, let's find some other things that you can do. Oh yeah, one more thing. There's a ton, ton of... So author, uh, book readings, Book signings, NYC. So let's go to timeout. So here's a bunch of um, here's a schedule of book signings and book readings in the New York City area uh, that generally happen at the booger, at the bigger bookstores. So, we'll click on this one. This is an interview. So here we go to Eventbrite again. Eventbrite is a, a really terrific website. They pretty much are dominating the market. Here's a bunch of book signings you can go to. Oh, those are in Indianapolis. Okay, forget that. Here's a great website, Strand Books Events. So strand books, events, like all these different events, book signings, authors talking about books, blah, blah, blah. Little Wayne signs Gone Till November. Some different things happening. Events on YouTube, etc. Also, um, Here's poetry readings, that's uh, on Club Free Time. Again, there's a ton of poetry readings, if that's your thing. Uh, another thing to type in is Barnes and Nobles, New York City uh, book signings events. So there's upcoming events, so let's find New York City. Oops. Okay, I mean, this is not working. Here's a website, it's just dedicated to book signings. I'm not sure if this website works. Try this again. So. 
Oh, interesting. A little map. I guess they haven't finished building the website yet. But that will give you, that's an idea of the many things to do in New York City. Oh yeah, one more thing. Free kayaking New York City. Downtown Boathouse is amazing. It's a group of volunteers and uh, they set up uh, free kayak areas um, on waterways on the East River and the Hudson River in New York City. So what you want to do is go to downtownboathouse.org, go to the locations, you can volunteer there, go to the calendar of events. And they're open throughout the summer. And you literally just show up at this place by yourself, bring some friends or whatever. Maybe bring like a bottle of water, it gets somewhat hot there. And um, wear some shorts or some trousers that so you don't mind getting wet. And if you can, purchase like a, a lock because they have lockers there. So this way you can have a, a locker uh, for the lockers. And it just can be like a $3 or $5 lock. You can get any um, bodega, convenience store, etc. And look at all these free events. Free kayaking, free kayaking, free kayaking. It's a really fun website. And you can volunteer there as well. Highly recommend this place. And uh, last but not least, Meetup New York City. I haven't used this site in a while. I've just been using Eventbrite a lot more often. So let's go to meetup.org. Is it meetup.org? I forgot. Okay. Okay, Meetup. Meetup. Okay, so when you go to Meetup and you sign in here and you just, there's tons of stuff that you can do. You can join Meetup. Um, another thing to do in New York City if you're into certain, um, if you're into like um, different cultures, and this is something I'm kind of interested in, I'll get a French Alliance New York City, right? And you go to this group. And they have a newsletter, they have an uh, email list you can join, and they have events that are, you know, that have to do with France and French culture. They show movies, they'll have a comedy, they'll have art. It's an interesting, um, and it's, it's free to join. I'm also a, a member, which is free, so check Center New York City. So let's go to this website really quick. I can find it. And this is a real fun place. They show um, European movies. I met uh, Milcho Manchevetsky. Um, he's a writer, director of the um, amazing film um, Before the Rain. It came out in the 90s and won all sorts of awards. It just an outstanding film. And, I met him at the Czech Center. Uh, I was introduced to him by the um, the girl who's who's uh, who's like I guess she's the one of the managers of the Czech Center, the young lady, and it was just a really fun event. Afterwards, we went to the restaurant next door to the Czech Center. We had like wine and we were chatting. And this guy's like so down to earth and so humble and so cool. And he's this amazing award-winning filmmaker and it's super cool. We saw his film in an intimate setting and afterwards there was a question and answer session. Hang on, there's some crazy people yelling outside. Anyway, um, yeah. So those are just some ways that you can uh, find free events in and around the New York City area. Now, if you're living in any other place in the United States, you can still find events using these techniques. Just type in, if you live in Texas, type in Texas uh, Free Events 2017. Um, you're probably not likely to find as many events, but you will still find free events. And it's fun to meet uh, people who are into the same thing that you are that you wouldn't otherwise meet. I'm into dancing, I'm into movies, so I'll meet people who are into dancing, and I'll meet people who are into movies, and 
stuff like that. Anyway, this is Chris Kemp. I hope you enjoyed this podcast screencast, and I hope the audio is okay. Um, if you've appreciated this, feel free to go to my website, chriskemp.com, K-R-I-S-K-E-M-P.com. Hopefully you're here already, and click on the links to the right. You'll see some of my ebooks. books uh, Just if you want, buy one of my ebooks. Maybe you'll find some value out of it. Or feel free to email me anytime if you need anything. My email is bicycledays at yahoo.com. That's B-I-C-Y-C-L-E-D-A-Y-S at yahoo.com. Thanks.